Hi, my name is Yulan Lin, and I'm a developer advocate for Data Studio. Today, I'm going to tell you about some new tooling that we have for developer features for Data Studio. Um, DSCC Gen is a package that allows you to get started really quickly, both with community visualizations and with community connectors. But today, we're going to focus on the community visualizations part of that. So let's take a look really quickly at why we built this tooling and why we thought it was needed in the first place. Basically, we wanted to make development of community visualizations faster and easier. So without tooling, starting a visualization used to take me at least about five minutes, maybe a little bit more. Previewing changes was about one minute per change. Now with this tooling, you can get started in just under a minute and previewing changes is super quick. You can look at your changes, make them and see them in about two seconds per change you make. So to justify these numbers, let me take you through some of the workflow changes that we've made. So the typical getting started with Viz, and this is what I take you through in the code lab because I think it provides a really great overview of how the different pieces fit together. As you make a Google Cloud Platform project, you have to write your Viz config, JSON, JavaScript, um, and CSS. You have to make a GCP bucket, write your manifest, upload everything to Google Cloud Storage, load your visualization in Data Studio. So this usually takes me five minutes on a good day, more if not. When I'm updating a visualization, I make a change to one of the files, whether it's the JavaScript, whether I've changed the config, whether I've made some styling changes in the CSS. Everything has to be re-uploaded to Google Cloud Storage. And then I have to reload and refresh in Data Studio. So for every change I make, it takes me about one minute to see the result of that change. With the tooling, though, Getting started looks like this. You run one command in your um, terminal, go to run npx at google slash dscc gen viz because you're telling it which kind of template you want. cd hello world viz or whatever you've called your viz project name. And you run this build and this push command. And what this does is it deploys it to Data Studio. And then you load your visualization. And this usually takes me about one minute. And when I'm updating my visualization, I change the contents of the file, I save it, and I can immediately preview the changes locally in a browser. And this takes me about two seconds every time I do it. So now that I've talked about this tooling and kind of the time-saving benefit that it has, let's go into the terminal and see it in action. So if I run, Google DSCC Gen Viz. It's going to run some things. So you need um, the version of NPM that supports NPX for this to work. Um, and we've mostly tested it on Unix or Unix-like operating systems. I define a project name. Let's say, hello world, Yulon Lin, CV dev, hello world. And let's say I've, so these are the GCS buckets that I want for my dev and prod deployments. One thing to note here is that the tooling will actually yell at you if you don't have access to these buckets. So let's say I put in an invalid bucket path, or if I put in a bucket that I don't actually have access to, it'll throw an error and tell me, hey, you need to provide a different GCS bucket. And now I have instructions. It tells me to CD hello world, so go into that directory and npm run start to see what happens. So I do that. cd hello world. And then I run npm run start. And what happens now is something opens in a browser. And so this is a visualization that's running locally based on local data. And it has some instructions. It says update your config, says run update message, deploy the visualization, and replace the context of local data. We're not going to do all of that today, but I do want to show you how to deploy it to Data Studio with a working bar chart. So if we go back here, and I go into source index.js, I have some instructions here that say, for example, um, change this to true for local de development, which I'm developing locally but change it to false before deploying to Data Studio. So I'll change it to false. 
I'll save my file and I'll run npm run builds dev. Um, and these are the commands that were shown in the readme earlier. They're also in our documentation if you need a reference. Um, build dev and npm run. push dev, I actually meant to say push instead of build for the second one. And now it's told me, I've deployed your visualization to this GCS bucket, GS Yulonlin CV dev slash hello world. So let's go into data studio and deploy the viz and as I add it, there's a couple things to note. One is that all of the language and verbiage is still there, but that the bar chart underneath is also still there. And so if I make it just a little bit bigger, you can see that I have a bar chart and I might wanna change out the dimensions. Let's say I want, to have sessions by continent instead. And I have a working bar chart. And so I ran a couple commands, changed a variable, deployed it into Data Studio, and I have a working community visualization bar chart that I can continue to develop with. So that's really all there is to it. You run mpx at google slash dsccgen viz. Um, and then you can get started building a visualization almost right away. We provide a lot of really helpful scripts and opinionated workflows that you can read about in our documentation. So you should go to developers.google.com slash data studio slash visualization to learn more about the local development workflow and some of the tooling that we've created. Share it on social media using the hashtag data studio devs or submit to our showcase. <laughs>